it at 20 yards, exactly the same. I set up the same, square to the hole, club face is square, I break the wrist going back, and I accelerate into the finish. You can see the club and the arm still form a straight line. If I want the ball to come in softer, it's the same thing we talked about. I can just open up the face using the same technique. So I set up square, I open up the face a little bit, I then readjust my body till the face is aimed at the target, and I regrip the club. Same motion. Hinge and hold. And as I accelerate into the finish, you can see the club and the arm form a straight line. 30 yard shot here. It's an extension of the hinge and hold, a slightly larger chip. We keep the through stroke constant as firm as we can. We're going to just make a further backstroke using the same acceleration. We're using the hinge and hold method. We're breaking our wrist and accelerating it into the finish. I'm able to go into the ball aggressively. I'm going to make a further backswing and accelerate into the finish. And you can see the arm and the club are in a straight line. We need to be able to get these shots inside our three foot circle. This is where we're going to score. This is where we're going to win our championships. 50 yards, hinge and hold method. This shot is just an extension of a chip. We're going to break our wrists early. We're going to accelerate into our finish. We're not taking the club way back and easing into the ball to hit this shot. We need the leading edge. We need the bounce to go through the ground the same for as long a period of time. That's where the hinge and hold method comes into play. Once we break our wrist and we accelerate our hands into the finish, the arm and club are traveling at the same speed, making distance control easy. The leading edge and the bounce are consistent for a longer period of time through impact, making these shots come off much more consistently. I'm going to hit a 30 yard shot where I break my wrist and accelerate through. And you're going to see how a 50 yard shot isn't much different from that one. We get back to 50 yards, all we're doing is going back slightly farther and we're still accelerating into the ball. This 50 yard shot is going to look very similar, only a little longer backswing. We're able to make consistent contact and have these 30 and 50 yard shots feel like chip shots because our goal is to get each one of these inside our three foot circle.